is sick. I just couldn't stop spinning. This should be a new sport. Three, two, one. Well, I'm gonna take a duotone unit uh, wing foil and jump it out of balloons and see if they fly. Excited, nervous, anxious. Don't know what's gonna happen. I'm Wolfgang Sias. I come from Austria, Tyrol folders, and I'm normally a professional hang glider pilot. Uh, I grew up around hang gliding. My dad's a hang glider pilot. He's been flying since over 40 years, and so I have been got started as soon as I was allowed. This idea started in the early 2000s. Uh, a, a kite wing they had at this time. We got our hands on one, we took it on ski slopes, and we always said, Somebody should take it with a base rig off a mountain. This past New Year's, I was in La Ventana. Obviously, there's a bunch of wing foilers, and my friends are all wingers now. And this idea popped back in my head. I'm like, I'm very surprised nobody's ever going to take one and try to fly it yet. Now it's the longest wing flight. We are at Sean Farley's place at Elevate in Colima. Yeah. This is the wing, yeah. Steve there. Hey Wolfie. Yeah. Let's do a little briefing here of what, what we think will happen. So this has to happen very early morning. The balloon will be laid out that way. Basket will be on its side. We'll inflate the balloon, put the balloon up, and then as soon as the balloon comes up, it's get the Go. fuck in and we're going. Through some sketchy shit. Do da, do da. Oh, forget the way we did. You can go ahead and open the door there. You want it to be in a slight descent, right? Yes. Okay, so we're probably 20 seconds out. Okay. Estamos ahora conectando el drone. Copy, it's successful. Okay, inicia la cuenta regresiva prácticamente 10. Nueve, ocho. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Cinco. All right, see you guys later. Ah, I can't believe I just did this! Oh, yeah. Well, it flies! Oh, it flew so great. It was very fast and very pitch nose down for a while. But it flew great and then it went in a really steep spiral and that's when I would let go. I did like three or four rotations as a body like this. Because it, it threw me out, like, you know, it really threw me away as so I was turning until I got it straight again. And I'm the first one. Nobody's going to take that off me ever again. Now I'm going to do what I do best and go hang gliding. It's a new flying site for me and I'm in a new location. I got my hang glider with me. There's a full camera crew here. We got to go fly for sure. I love flying, that's what I do. Uh, it's the freedom, like everybody says. It's, uh, you know, especially with free flight with a hang glider, you have no motor, you only can go where the wind takes you. And I fly hang gliders mainly, but I like to try all different air sports and uh, I like to spend as much time in the air as possible and to spend as much time as air possible, you gotta fly as many different aircrafts as you can. I think tomorrow, 
the only thing we're gonna change is maybe the angle of attack of the wing but in general I think same thing everything else worked really well and you know maybe I can figure out tomorrow how to steer it I thought for a while today I had it but then it just went the other way again so let's see how we do it tomorrow just because it works once doesn't mean it need to work again right <laughs> So you give me the countdown, right? Yes. I go and I jump on you and go. Three, two, one, and a jump and go. Yes. All right. I win Leo, so take a little shot. Yeah, but for Leo. Hey, Leo. Hey. For you. Two. One. Drop it. Fuck. Oh, fuck. That was so sketchy. Oh my god. You watch ah, me? I was so scared of you. Fuck me. You wasn't conscious? No, 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 no. I was full conscious, but I, it, it spun me so fast and I couldn't see. <sighs> You're okay. We're okay. I, I'm the emotional support here. Yeah, I Leo. Oh my God. Love you, man. Love you, man. <sighs> so much. How are you here? <sighs> oh, my. Oh. That's how something fun goes really bad really quickly, huh? Yeah. I'm alive. <laughs> I think everybody who watched it, and um, uh, especially if you've been in aerial sports or skydive and watched this, um, you definitely get scared. There's not much margin for error there. I mean, you only have one parachute. That means you only have one chance. That's why I waited so long to pull in the end because I just want to be nice and stable and I'm very happy I didn't clip into it. I originally wanted to have a three ring system. I think that would have been a lot harder to get rid of today. Also, you know, having years of experience, you always know how high you are from hang gliding and paragliding and um, really helps you with making right decision in shitty situations. Yesterday I thought, you know, some people are gonna try this and you know, maybe some people gape gonna dry it off a cliff but now I think maybe not I don't know let's see let's see what the world does there's some other crazy people out there and you know maybe I I missed something maybe there's something we have to do different and you know no sport got invented in two days so everything is still open well the next thing I want to try with this wing is what it's made for and I want to take it on the water and do some wing foiling um, I mean that was my whole idea before I start wing foiling I have to take it in the sky because 
that's my environment, that's what I do. Um, I think there was, I don't know if it was a fail or not, but I think we just put it aside and go on the water for now and keep it safe. Yes, 